Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good crafternoon. Hello. I hope you can join me. If you are watching live, please drop me a comment. You might be here on my Sue Stampfield YouTube channel. You might be over on Facebook in my uh, Sue Stampfield group or in my Susan Campfield Independent Demonstrator Stampin' Up! page. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know if you can see me, if you can hear me, all the good things. Make sure our technology is working for us today. Happy Sunday. I'm happy to be here with you too, Susan. Uh, welcome to the Sue Stampfield Crafternoon Creative Escape. We're going to shut out the world <laughs> for a little bit and dive into some crafting and get a little, uh, little um, relaxing time because we deserve it, right? So thanks for joining me here. So let me explain a little bit about Crafternoon in case you've never uh, joined me for this event before. Uh, this event is uh, uh, a class and I do it as a live public video so I can share it with everyone. So the, oh, thanks, Kathy. Sounds good, picture's good. Excellent, awesome. Things are cooperating today, so that's great. Um, so Crafternoon, it, uh, People that placed a $50 order with me last month before tax and shipping received some happy mail from me. They got a packet for a fun fold card that we're going to put together today. Um, and then after this video, they'll receive a tutorial bundle, a bundle of uh, five cards made with this, uh, this fun fold. And that tutorial bundle is also available for people to purchase who missed out on the opportunity to get the packet or whatever. So you have that option. There will be a blog post with a, um, a link where you can purchase. All the cards will be shown there, as well as this video, because kind of walking through the main steps of the card. So in this video, I'm going to share with you just the main dimensions, the main dimensions for the fun fold that are in all five cards. And then I'll, you know, I'll show you all five different versions because when you have a fun fold, it's fun <laughs> to decorate it a lot of different ways, right? And sometimes our, maybe our creativity struggles a little bit. We see it one way and we have trouble, you know, adapting that to, to make it our own. Um, so I'm going to help you out. That's what I love to do is help give you creative ideas. So, um, so I have five different cards that I did with this fun fold. I'm so excited about this card to finally get to share it with you. I designed this card a month ago, <laughs> a month ago. Um, it, uh, yeah, so it's been a, a, um, a long time. So I'm so glad that I finally get to share it with you. And then we're going to share, um, I'm going to share some other uh, ways that I did that same fun fold. I had a lot of fun with it hence the name Funfold. Um, if you would like to participate in our next Crafternoon, so excited about that one too, um, you can place a $50 order with me in my online store. You don't need a host uh, code. You don't need anything like that. You just place an order. I see who placed orders over $50 and then I send you a packet. And so beginning uh, early April, I send a packet out. I usually send it about the 11th, uh, 10th or 11th of the month. And then our event is always on the 20th. So in the afternoon. And if you miss the live, you can always catch the replay. In fact, shout out to our replay warriors. If you're watching on replay later on, drop me a comment. Let me know. I, I love to know that you're watching. And um, so let's start. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot the most important people. Uh, shout out to my uh, Stampfield Stars team of demonstrators, team of passionate paper crafters. Uh, they get all the tutorials for free, of course. And so, and uh, some of them have been helping me with uh, proofreading <laughs> the tutorials, which is super helpful. Um, Cause yeah, we want to get everything, the dimensions right and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to switch to my desktop calendar, a calendar. Oh boy. <laughs> all right. Mm, I'm going to mix up some words. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip to my desktop camera. Let's try that. And we're going to go ahead and get going here. All right. There we go. All right. So we've got the camera here. I had to close the blinds. It's a beautiful day here in Minnesota, but um, 
in the afternoon, my, my craft room faces south and I get lots of wonderful sunshine, but I had all these weird shadowy things showing. So um, yeah, they had to go. Um, so this is the Crafternoon packet that um, people receive in the mail. It's even got our little Crafternoon sticker on it. And so we're going to be opening that up to uh, put our card together. But I'm going to start by showing you the card and then we'll... Um, We'll look at that. So this is the card we're making. This is called, I'm calling this fold. Let me slide this stuff out of my way. Um, so we have a, a ribbon uh, uh, closure here that just slides off. And then the card opens. Of course, we've got the fun porthole here looking out in our ocean scene. And so we're going to open the card and we've got the beautiful uh, waves here. So this is a window looking out at the ocean, but I call this fun fold window visions as in plural, because when you open up this portion, you have another beautiful scene. And when you close the front, look at that, that goes through the window too. So this is the window visions fun fold. And I had a lot of fun making and designing cards where we have some sort of window opening. And then we have a scene here and then a scene here. And I always make sure that the inner scene lines up with that opening or that window. So this is our, our fun fold. Now this can stand up for display. The recipient can have it be like this, where this can be, um, here I can't even, you can't see it, but this could stand on its own, right? And then this could be through there. They can, uh, you know, they can't close it all the, well, I guess it would, it would kind of pop open. So they could do it like that and stand it up. So a lot of options, but these scenery cards are so fun. Um, and it's, uh, gives you two wonderful places to decorate, right? And so I had a lot of fun designing these cards and I'm excited to share them with you. I am doing tutorials for all of them. This one is already actually completed, but then I added a little add-on. <clears throat> so <laughs> I'm adjusting that one and then I have to complete the other ones. And those should be done within 48 hours is always my goal. So Tuesday, um, those will be ready. And uh, a lot of my... Uh, a lot of my crafty friends like to have those tutorials. I like to have them too, because you can print those project sheets out and then um, you've got step-by-step -step instructions, all the photos, all the measurements, all uh, you can even save it on your computer and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and make this card. Oh, thank you, Jean. <laughs> Jean is reminded, okay, so I guess I should tell that today is my birthday. Thank you, Jean, uh, for the happy birthday shout out. Um, I'm older than I was yesterday. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful spring day for my first day of spring birthday, which is always fun. Um, bird song, and I got to see the sunrise this morning. Beautiful day. So we're going to go ahead and make our card. And I wanted to show you one option too, that you can do if you have this set. So for this one, obviously, we are using, hold on, let me grab it. <clears throat> We're using the Waves of the Ocean collection, and the Waves of the Ocean collection is a combination of some new products that are going to be in the new catalog and some exclusive products that are only available for a limited time. And the ones that are, uh, so the bundle, the dies and the stamp set are carrying over to the an new annual catalog the waves of the ocean 12 by 12 paper the blue foils and the rhinestones are exclusive items so those are only while supplies last and let's go ahead and make our card and i am going to show you an option so those of you that have your packets go ahead and pop it open if you haven't yet and I do spend uh, a lot of time trying to make sure that things are packaged appropriately. Um, if you are crafting along with me, the uh, supplies that you need uh, were in your email. They're also um, uh, right here. So mini dimensionals or regular dimensionals, adhesive of choice, uh, glue dots, and then possibly your take your pick tool. Now we're gonna do a little bit of stamping. <clears throat> I'm remembering I didn't even get that stamp out. So um, I might skip that part. 
All right, so open up my packet here. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Sorry about all the crinkling. <laughs> now let's pull out our project. So this version, we've got our card base, and this is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, just like you would imagine. I've cut my window in, in, uh, opening in the card with the layering uh, circle dies. And in the tutorial, I show a picture of the dies and point out exactly which one I used. And then we have our insert piece. The insert piece is 10 and a half by four and scored at five and a quarter. And that is going to go right inside, as you might imagine right inside. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put our card together here. Now we have a couple, we have some very small pieces. So uh, I did kind of capture your birds inside a, um, for some people they were, were wanting to come apart. So I, I put them in a post-it note. Uh, I don't remember if I did that for all of them, but uh, got some labels here, lots of bits and pieces, but probably the smallest are these little cloud details. Now I did use uh, the adhesive sheets for a lot of these because I wanted to make it easy for those of you that got the packet to put these together. So these little uh, detailed parts like the birds and the cloud detail and the uh, wave details have adhesive sheets on them. So I'll show you in a minute how to put those together. So uh, different people have different patterns of, of uh, this particular paper. And we're going to be putting this on here. Now, I did want to show you another option for this card. I'm going to take this off. So this Waves of Inspiration stamp set is super cool. This, this stamp is awesome. Uh, as my, my team member Carol says, it's ma like magic. <laughs> it's a magic stamp because it is incredible the detail and texture you get with this. So if you have that stamp set, if you want to, instead of using the designer paper, you could do an option where you stamp the wave. And I'm adding this to the tutorial, how I, how I did this wave in the multiple colors. And then you can layer your uh, die cut pieces on top of it. And instead of the designer paper layer, you can stick this piece on there and then have that show through the window. It's just another option, totally up to you, which you prefer. Uh, for purposes of this video, we are going to use the all of the things in the packet because that's what my people have. <laughs> so I'm going to put this designer paper on, but you want to make sure that the fold is on the right for this particular card. That is kind of the unusual item in that the fold is on the right. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that. Thank you for the birthday wishes, Lisa. Appreciate it. Now, if you prefer to use the other side of your paper, you absolutely can. Um, like I said, this paper is different in every spot, so yours might look a little bit different than mine. Um, and a lot of the different papers in this pack would be, look fabulous. So just got my adhesive on there, and this is an exact fit. Again, all these other dimensions are in the tutorial. So we're just going to layer that piece right on there. And now we're ready to add our waves um, for... There's, these are actually two different dies, and they are made, as you can see, to match the wave stamp. Um, they perfectly line up with that, which is pretty cool. Um, so there's two different ones. You can see this one has a bigger splashy part, <laughs> and this one is a more of a simplistic curve. You can um, layer them either way. I did the white one down with the more simplistic curve, and then I did the foil uh, one on top of it. So that's the way I'm going to put it together. Now, as I mentioned, these do have adhesive sheets on the back. I think they do. Maybe this one doesn't. Okay, they should. <laughs> this is interesting because I'm not seeing... Oh, yep, they do. It was just, uh, it, it, it doesn't even look like it's there. <laughs> so take your, your piece and pull on the corner 
and that should lift it up. Let's see if that works on this one. So I, want, I have the back side up and I'm just um, kind of, um, I don't know, what would the word be? Um, flipping the corner and you see how it how the the uh, backing piece um, pulled off then I got nervous there I thought oh my gosh did I grab a packet that didn't have the adhesive sheets on it because it oh, doesn't even look like it's there now depending on where your piece was the the adhesive sheets are two inches wide so um, you might it might come apart in uh, different sections um, my last one when I did this one it was like in three different pieces, I think. Um, so don't don't be alarmed if it all of a sudden uh, stops and ends. Um, just find the next end and uh, keep going. This one seems to be mostly one piece. We'll see what the foil is like. Oh, no, nope, I see a break right there. So it's almost all one piece. And then I have just a little bit of another piece across the top here. Now, if you have trouble finding it with your fingers or getting it to lift up, if you don't have fingernails, um, you can absolutely use a take your pick tool or a piercing tool or a tip of a scissor to get that um, lifted up. So I'm gonna pull that off. That was just a little chunk at the top. <laughs> and then you're just gonna line it up with your paper and stick it on. And it's nice and sticky, but if you don't press hard, you've got time to make sure you're aligned and line it up. So, and is this piece of cardstock supposed to go on the back of the card or the inside? Susan, this will be going on the inside, but you do want that fold on the right because this card opens like this and then it opens like this. So it's kind of like a card inside a card, if that makes sense. All right, let's see. Whoops. <laughs> and I'm dropping stuff. All right, so we're going to pull off the backing piece on our foil here. And I it ended. You could see it was just a little chunk there. So now I need to find the, the next uh, um, end. And I'm going to peel that up. I love these adhesive sheets for detailed dies. Okay, this one is uh, also ending. So now I've got one more bit over here. Now, if you don't have the adhesive sheets and you don't use those, um, you can absolutely just take a multi-purpose liquid glue and very carefully apply it or even sponge it on. And, uh, and uh, that will, you'll get it sticky that way. My, my sample, I actually did that with and my, it keeps coming off. <laughs> I didn't get enough glue on it. So the nice thing about the adhesive sheets is it is sticky everywhere. All right, so we've got that stuck on. So it should look like that. Thanks for all the birthday wishes, everyone. I appreciate it. Thanks for sharing, Pam. I appreciate that too. If you, uh, if you do enjoy my videos, I always appreciate if you hit the like button. Um, very much appreciated. So there we have that piece. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this inside our card. So put adhesive. I'm putting a lot of adhesive. We don't know why. I just am <laughs> just in the mood for that today, I guess. All right. This is the part where I, I have to look past my camera to see if I'm centered or not. And sometimes I don't get it quite right. All right. So I've got that about the same amount of border all the way around. And when I close it up, I can see that my, uh, window vision is showing up so yay for that now on the inside of our card um, you could do this part first you could do it now um, you're going to put another piece of designer paper across the bottom here again the dimensions for this piece are in the tutorial and i did it so that um, and i'm going to um, leave again i'm going to leave a border around and then when I close it I should see that ocean line right there and now I'm ready for uh, some cloud action <laughs> let's bring our clouds in and let's do a little more playing with adhesive sheets here so I'm going to take this eeny weeny uh, little cloud detail 
And again, I'm going to use my fingernail. Sure you are, Susan. To find the edge. There it is. These are so delicate. They might bend a little bit. That's okay. Just bend them back. And these, this cloud detail is actually going to line up with the bottom of the cloud. So I want to make sure my cloud is right side up. Uh, how do I tell? So the right side up, um, this is the wrong side. Um, you probably can't see that on the camera, but it's dipped in a little bit. So I'm going to flip it over to where it's all smooth. I'm sorry about bumping the camera there. And then this cloud detail perfectly lines up with the bottom. Now, I did not add any color to this. You can certainly sponge this um, this portion like with a light blue or something to uh, make it pop out a little bit more. I decided to just keep it plain. Now, the cloud itself does not have an adhesive sheet on it because it's big enough that we can do a glue dot or some adhesive um, to stick that on. So I'm just pressing my cloud against my glue dots here to pick up the glue dot. Now I have a sticky cloud. And so I'm going to close up my window and I want to make sure that this cloud is going to show through the window. So I'm going to close the window before I put the cloud down so that I can make sure that it's going to show. And then over here we've got our birds. Uh, there are two birds. One is uh, more like a V and one is more like a flattened out V. I'm going to do this, this, the skinnier one, the, the more V-like one. And this one is on adhesive sheets. Um, I tried to leave most of these in the uh, piece of foil that was cut out of. That way the backing uh, will probably stay right on there. And it's this is already sticky. So I don't even have to peel anything. Again, I'm leaving it closed so that I can make sure that bird shows in the window. Right like that. Oh, Deb, your brother's birthday's tomorrow. Oh, how fun is that? Well, the other March babies. All right, so we've got our I've got our two windows, our window visions. We've got one and two ready to go here. Again, at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing a bunch of other cards that I made with this fun fold. So now I'm going to take, uh, while I'm at this, I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing off this cloud detail. And I honestly cannot remember, maybe, uh, maybe my team member Shirley's uh, watching. She's the one that's been doing my my uh, checking of measurements for me <laughs> very kindly. And I don't remember what order I did. Um, we haven't put the porthole opening on yet. You can actually do that before you do the these other parts. Doesn't really matter. I think I did that last. Um, doing it last today anyway. <laughs> it, like I said, it doesn't matter. I've lost my glue dots though. Okay, <clears throat> found my glue dots. So I put the larger detail I peeled off the uh, backing of the adhesive sheet and I stuck that to my cloud. Again, if you don't have adhesive sheets, you can uh, put some multi-purpose liquid glue on there. But if you got the Crafternoon packet, there are adhesive sheets on the back of these detailed pieces. It just doesn't look like they're there, but they're there. They're invisible. So I'm putting the glue dot, pressing that on here. And let's get one more. This cloud is a little bit bigger. Again, so I have to pull it away a little bit so that I can actually see instead of just looking through the camera. There we go. All right, so this one, I actually don't want this one to show. Um, so I'm gonna put it up here before I press it too firmly. I'm gonna check it. Yep, that's good. Uh, you can you know, place it wherever you want. I'm just gonna even put it over here if you'd rather. And now I'm gonna put the second bird next to it. Also the, for this one, um, this one, the, the backing did not stay. So that first one I peeled off, the backing stayed. This one, it came out. So we're just going to flick it again with our finger until that uh, backing pops up a little bit. Peel that off. 
And now we're going to add the second bird. I'm going to add it up here. Again, I don't want it to show in the window, so I'm putting it up purposely a little higher up. All right, now I'm ready to work on the front of the card. So let's grab our porthole. <laughs> and this is a die cut from the gold foil sheets. I got this idea from demonstrator uh, Tammy Beard. She did a sail away card two years ago, I think it's 2019. And I had saved it because I thought it was, it was actually a little a little card that was just a porthole and it was super cute and I had saved it because I thought it was so cute and now I was like oh that would work really well with this so inside your Sue Stamp Field post-it note uh, if you open that up you're going to have some gilded gems those gilded gems are what is going to make this look like a porthole now I believe these are the largest size um, medium size would also work for this, totally up to you. So I'm going to place one at the top, and I did put it kind of in the middle, and then I'm going to place one directly below that, again, kind of in the middle of the ring. Again, in the tutorial, I have the uh, sizes of these layering circles uh, right there in the tutorial for you with the diagram, pointing out which ones I used here. And doing the same. So I've got them spaced somewhat evenly <laughs> around the porthole. Okay. And now I'm going to adhere the porthole on. Again, I'm going to use glue dots. Um, if you prefer to use like a multi purpose liquid glue, you could totally do that. Um, My glue dots are a little bit melty. They've been under this hot light for a while today. So I'm going to, they're super sticky, which is, you know, kind of what you're looking for in a glue dot, right? I hope I'm on camera here, but I'm trying to be able to see as well. Thank you, Deborah. I'm so glad you liked the card. I can't wait to show you the others. Come on, you. Come on off. All right, one, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, I dropped it on my carpet, glue side down. <clears throat> I have dogs. See how much dog hair we end up with in our, in our porthole here. As long as it doesn't stick out the sides, we're good. Yeah, I think we're okay. Don't even see any dog hair. How about that? So I'm going to open this up flat so that I've got my the contrast of my darker work surface below just so that I can line it up properly. I'm going to slide it a little closer to me so that I'm not looking through the camera. Um, and I do want to have it so that my um, gilded gems, which are kind of forming the sort of nails in my porthole, are <laughs> positioned at the top and the bottom. I think that just makes it look a little more realistic here. And I'm going to press that down. So there we have our porthole. How fun is that? And then the last little detail for this card is the label here. So we're going to go ahead and adhere <clears throat> the, sh the shiny part. This is from the Blue Foils uh, pack. So I've got that adhered down. And then this one, this is one of the labels in the set and I die cut it, cut it in half. Um, this one is uh, the skinnier label die cut in half, and that's where I'm going to put my greeting. And I'm going to mount this one with dimensionals. I am, I don't have, I neglected to get that stamp set out. So any small stamp, I actually use the, um, I wanted to make my cards real versatile. So I used a For You. I used the one from the Brew Some Fun stamp set. There actually was another For You that was perfectly sized as well. Or any small greeting that you have um, would work. I did For You because I thought this could be a graduation card. This could be a birthday card. This could be a retirement card. Um, you know, so many different ways that this could celebrate things. So uh, that's why I just went with for you. So I'm going to bring in my my sample here that shows you what that looks like. Um, if you are making this card and you're not sure what greeting, you could actually just put this part on for now and uh, decide later on the greeting. But again, if you use something kind of generic like 
for you. <laughs> uh, then you can customize the card when you're ready to gift it by putting, you know, happy graduation or happy retirement or happy birthday, um, have fun on your trip, you know, whatever on the inside portion. But this is where you would put your inside greeting. So I'm going to slide back on. Now, those of you that are, let's, um, let's add our ribbon belly band here. So you've got your ribbon. This is the faux linen from the uh, Flowers for Every Season ribbon pack, which I am guessing is going to be retiring soon because that one actually carried over from last year, which will be a sad day for Susan because I love this faux linen ribbon. <laughs> I use it a lot. Um, Speaking of retirement, the Stampin' Up! retiring list comes out on March 23rd. And so uh, if you sign up for my Sue Stampfield email, you will get notification of that with the list of what is retiring. And uh, we'll have an opportunity to purchase those items before they sell out. And then you'll qualify for next month's crafter noon. It's a win-win. Um, so you're just going to want to grab your paper snips after you tied your ribbon, I gave you lots of ribbon because I know some people um, struggle a little bit with, with tying. This is just a plain old knot. Um, and then that forms our belly band closure. And again, this one, I have not stamped my greeting for the outside yet. I need to do that. I'm going to set that aside though. And let's go ahead and you guys ready to look at the uh, other cards. And then don't forget, this is what it would look like if you decided to stamp your wave. You would get a different look, a little uh, crisp, white, very oceany look there. And it opens up like that. So lots of fun to have options, right? So we're going to go ahead and look at the other cards. Pop this belly band on here. Sure I am. Um, so I did use... Here's what, if you don't have a ribbon closure, um, they're a little bit bouncy, right? It doesn't, because of the thickness of a card within a card, it doesn't uh, fully close. Not a big deal. Um, you could also, of course, do a paper belly band. I did choose ribbon for all of mine because it, it not only uh, holds the card closed, but it makes it look pretty. <laughs> and we like that. Okay, so, oh, where to start? Mm, where to start? Where to start? Oh, gosh, let's start with this one. Um, so the, this, I've got two versions, <laughs> a lot of these. Okay, so I'm supposed to only do five cards, but I get carried away. Mm -hmm. So this one is with the um, Artistically Inked Bundle. So I have my window. For this one, I actually put some vellum over it right? So I have my, uh, there's my first window and the uh, first scene is the designer series paper, the expressions in ink designer series paper. And uh, I also did some embossing there. And then the second scene is another designer paper and the leaves. So when you close that, that you can see, um, and it's, it's actually, <laughs> Uh, you can probably guess where that uh, stitched rectangle came from. So for the, these windows, I used the stitched rectangle dies. Um, and then we've got our greeting over here. So this one can stand for display. And with the vellum there, it is pretty muted, um, that inside. So you can just make out the gold leaf. So it's kind of a fun surprise when they open it. Just like, oh, wow, sparkly gold, right? <laughs> so that is one. Now, um, I'm going to guess that this Expressions in Ink paper is going to retire. Most of our designer papers do not carry over. We Occasionally, there'll be one that does. Um, and then I did another version with that card as well. This is also with the Artistically Inked Bundle. Same idea. This one I did not use the vellum on. I did add the Gilded Gems on it. Um, this one, I haven't put the Gilded Gems on. It, without it, it makes it flatter for mailing. 
I still might put them on because I love I love embellishments. You guys know I do. <laughs> uh, so this one I did a little differently. You can see through the window there, we've got some embossing back there. So we're going to pull our belly band off. Same ribbon, of course, that I did on the first one. And this one, the uh, die straddles that window um, to, to show through. And then we've got our, our embossed panel here. And then we have our inner piece there. So again, we've got our window visions. So it uh, shows through like that or like that with our two different window options. So really, really fun, 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 fun cards. So many options. Okay, so that is the artistically inked version. This next one is with a set that is actually on sale right now just this month it's part of the savings uh in bloom uh special that's going on right now so there are 13 bundles that are on sale plus the mini machine uh, all of these dies fit in the mini machine and this bundle is called the welcoming window bundle and it, right now it's discounted at 44.75 uh, us dollars so uh, this of course is perfect <laughs> for this fun fold card so i built my windows is the expressions and in ink paper available bonnie's asking um are you asking me if it's on back order right now bonnie i i er, sorry not back order because we're not doing that right now so not orderable right now as far as i know it's in stock um, i can double check for you though um, so this one is the uh, welcoming window uh, bundle and I've got my shutters there. You can see I've got window plastic actually in the window. So we'll pull off our ribbon belly band here. If you've even got a window box with some flowers. Um, now this could be a window box with flowers. It could also be the inside of the house. This is a table with some uh, uh, embellishments on the side of the window. So this one I was kind of doing different options with. So this one, I have the inner part, the beautiful flowering fields designer series paper. And then the second one is, uh, we have this uh, table <laughs> with a, a pitcher of flowers on it. So when we close this version, or that we close it this way, you can see the, the window there. Now this card, you could actually do it either way. You could do it like I did with this paper here and this on the inside, or this could be the second uh, opening, and then this one could be the third opening. It would work either way, really visual, but ver really versatile, but really fun set. It is a photopolymer set, so the flowers and the um, leaves are a separate stamp, so it makes it really easy to uh, get that um, variation. You know, get your leaves one color and your uh, dies the other. And then I tell how I made built the table <laughs> using the dies um, in the tutorial, of course, and all of the measurements in there. So that's that one. And I've got a couple more. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, we got to leave out the Easter friends, right? We couldn't leave out the Easter friends. So, oh, thank you for checking, Pam. Yes, the Expressions in Ink Designer Series paper is currently available. Now, if it shows up on the retirement list on Wednesday, uh, I might go fast. <laughs> so, um, well, thank you, Kathy. Have, uh, I thank you for the birthday wishes. So this one is, of course, our adorable Easter friends. Now for this one, for the windows, I used the, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to blank out on the name of these dies. Can someone uh, tell me the name? I'll look it up. <laughs> uh, ma -ma 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 -ma. Oh my gosh, why am I blanking out on that? I'm blanking out on that because I'm really tired. I've had a house guest that weekend and um, I'm a little tired. I woke up at five this morning. Do not even ask me why I woke up at 5 a.m. But I get that I was excited. I guess I was excited to share with you. <laughs> Aha, I found it. I stalled long enough. Encircled in Beauty is the name of these dies and this was inspired by my team member carol rosengren um she had done a, a card with the bunny where she did this uh, die and i thought ooh, that would work for a window visions card so we've got our belly band here with the glittered organdy ribbon which has a little bit of a pink tone in it which matched really well and then our iridescent rhinestones and then we open it up here got our cute little bunny on the inside so there's one of our window visions and we're going to open this up and we've got the adorable chick this is another part of the encircled and beauty dies 
And so we've got it lined up so that for the second window, we've got our little chick in the window and our message is over here on the side. So there is another window version, window visions version. Whoo, that's tough to say. <laughs> Encircled in friendship is the name of the bundle and Encircled the beauty, I think, of the name of the dies. So there's a stamp set that matches that one. Okay, one more. Well, okay, one more, but I did two cards. Uh, which one should I show first? <laughs> All right, I did this one two different ways. I'll show this one first. So this one is with the Grassy Grove Bundle. And so we're going to slide off our belly band here on the side. And so our window for this one is a big window. It's a picture window in your living room. Uh, so we get looking out on a scene here with our deer. And we open it up. We have that beautiful um, Horizons, New Horizons paper. Now this one has been going in and out of stock. I don't know if it's in stock right now. I think it might not be. Um, I think it's due in shortly though. So if you haven't, uh, if you're interested in this one and you're not sure, I have a little glitter on here, which this does not, glitter does not work on this card. It's picked it up from the ribbon <laughs> on the bunny card. So come off. There we go. Um, so there's one of our scenes. And then our second scene is right here. So for this one, I just did the designer series paper to make my window visions. Um, and this card was partially inspired by demonstrator Terry Gaines. Um, she did, uh, when I was doing the window visions, I, I saw Terry's card and I thought, oh, that would work really well with this as a different kind of window. So shout out to Terry Gaines. Um, and so you've got your two different windows here. Uh, so it can stand for display for either one. So cool. And then I did a different version with this one where I have my die cut. And then can you see that there's like a little bit of a shadow there? So this one, when you take off the belly band with one window, we open up to this scene with our deer and then this scene. So for this one, the window visions is a little bit different. We've got a window vision with kind of a uh, an extra shadow and the lighter blue, and then this version without that shadow. So again, just two different scenes. This one, the scenes are very similar. They're just slightly different, but just kind of a different fun little twist on that card and having those open and it could even be displayed completely open. So lots of options. So those are our <laughs> window visions, fun fold cards. I love the bunny too. So cute. And let's give a little bit of love to the chick because gosh darn it, he's really cute too. <laughs> so there is our um, our window visions. And I, these were actually, well, we'll talk about that later. Okay. So, uh, moving on, let's <laughs> grab our, uh, welcoming window version, our two artistically inked version. You can see Susan has a little bit of trouble with her five <laughs> sample idea. I, at least I kept it within five tutorials, right? Cause these will be on the same and this will be on the same, but, um, so that is our window visions fun fold. Of course, all of these have their cute belly bands as well, because you can see if you don't have the belly band on there, they're a little bit bouncy. You wouldn't have to have it, but, um, it just gives it that little bit extra closure. So, woo, we did it. You guys, we made it through. Um, I wanted to, remind you that uh, right now for, hold on, let me grab the basket. <laughs> I have some cards. I got a lot. This whole basket is piles of cards because I do a lot of swaps and so forth. And so if you place an order in March, you're going to, okay, hold on. I got to figure out how to come back to you guys. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> so if you place an order of $50 um, in my online store or email me your order, then uh, you will get an inspiration packet. So first of all, you get a packet for our April Fun Fold card for Craft Your Noon. Yay. And then you'll also get a packet of inspiration cards. So I'm sending five sample cards to uh, to uh, people who place an order. So sorry, I got distracted by a there was a sad emoji. Somebody's sad. I'm sorry you're sad. <laughs> thank you for being here. So uh, thank you, everyone. This was really fun. My granddaughter is 11 today. 
I, uh, I'm the 20th here. So if you're in Australia and watching, it's the 21st there, but it's the 20th here in the U.S. So I'm a March 20th birthday. So I'm a Pisces. Um, take care, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, you can, if you are wondering when the tutorial bundle, if you want first notice on when that comes out, um, if you subscribe right here, if you go to suestampfield.com and you hit subscribe, you've got two options. You can subscribe to my blog and you'll get notified when I send, when I put out the blog post that ha will have all of these cards and the information on the tutorial. Um, and, or you can also subscribe for my free project sheet emails. So you'll also get a notification of my, uh, when these are available via my email too. In fact, the project sheet email will be going out later today. We're going out tonight for dinner for my birthday. Again, because we went out for dinner with family last night. Uh, I had family up visiting and we went out for dinner last night at our favorite restaurant. And tonight, the three of us are going to my second favorite restaurant. So I am being really spoiled this weekend, which is great. No cooking for me. Yay. <laughs> Thanks so much for letting me share today. I really appreciate you being here with me. Let me pop over to the comments and see if anyone has any questions. Oh, you're also welcome. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Um, so uh, that was fun today. I hope you enjoy the Window Visions Fun Fold card, and I look forward to sharing more with you. Uh, soon. Our next video will be Tuesday night at 7.30. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your notifications, you'll get notified the next time I go live. Take care, everyone. Have a great week and end a weekend here into the next week and happy spring. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.